Good morning. Today is Tuesday, January 2nd, the Feast of Saints Basil the Great and Gregory Nazianzen. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who were pleased to give light to your church by the example and teaching of the bishops, Saints Basil and Gregory, grant, we pray, that in humility we may learn your truth and practice it faithfully in charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who is the liar? Whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ, whoever denies the Father and the Son, this is the Antichrist. Anyone who denies the Son does not have the Father, but whoever confesses the Son has the Father as well. Let what you heard from the beginning remain in you. If what you heard from the beginning remains in you, then you will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he made to us, eternal life. I write you these things about those who would deceive you. As for you, the anointing that you received from him remains in you so that you do not need anyone to teach you. But his anointing teaches you about everything and is true and not false, just as it taught you, remain in him. And now, children, remain in him, so that when he appears, we may have confidence and not be put to shame by him at his coming. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All, All the ends, ends of, of the earth, earth have seen, seen the saving power of God. God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All, All the ends, ends of, of the earth, earth have seen the saving power of God. God. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. This is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, who are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. So they said to him, who are you, so we can give an answer to those who sent us? What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you who you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. So today in the Gospel, we read, read about John the Baptist again. You know, during Advent, we read about John, we talked about John. So today, you know, I'd like to talk a little bit about that question that everyone asked John. Who are you then? John said he's not the Messiah. But then, who are you? And I think I'd like to pose that question to each and every one of us today. You know, it's the beginning of a new year. It's a perfect time for reflecting. The old year is over. We have new goals, maybe new things to think about, new things we want to achieve. But I ask you that question that they asked John, 
who are you then? You know, most people will think about that and answer the question, you know, I'm a father, I'm a grandfather, I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, I'm a sister, I'm an accountant, I'm a plumber, I'm an electrician, all those descriptive type things. But I ask you to kind of delve deeper into that question, who are you? You know, if you ask St. Paul who he is, he would say he is no longer himself, but Christ lives within him. So I think as followers of Christ, of Jesus, in our baptism, we had Christ enter us in the spirit. I think we think about that far too little. I think we want to reflect upon that Jesus is in us, each and every one of us. We are a part of his family. We are part of the Christian community that has welcomed us. So I'd like you to think about that question, reflect on all the things you believe in, your faith, your love for Christ, all the things that Christ taught us to love God, to love our neighbor, to love ourselves, to do charitable things, to help people, to heal people, to do all those things that he taught us. That's who we are. When someone asks us, maybe those are the things we should think about. I'm the person that gives charity to people. I'm the person that helps heal. I'm the person that forgives. I'm not just an accountant or all those things are great. I'm not just a father and that's a tough job, but I'm more than that. I am part of Jesus' family. God bless my brothers and sisters. For our petitions, for our church, may it always be a community of love and mercy and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For all people, may they receive the grace to welcome the presence of Jesus that comes to us through the motherhood of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For our parish community, may it be deeply blessed for its continued generosity to those in need during the Christmas season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For all those who are isolated or lonely, especially during the Christmas and New, New Year season, may they be consoled and strengthened by the love of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection and peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Good and gracious God, we ask that you hear and answer these prayers, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept this sacrifice in our hands for the praise, praise and, and glory of his name, name for, for our, our good, good and the good, good of God's, God's holy, holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of Saints Basil and Gregory a means to our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory, glory. Hosanna in the, the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name, name of the Lord, Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim, we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Helen and Perry Piazza, Raimunda and Elmer Franco, Jr., whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sin of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. blood of Christ. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on a high in all who celebrate the feast day of Saints Basil and Gregory, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God.